Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Ashley if you are new and I thought it would be really fun for one day of Vlogmas if I went ahead and filmed a what's in my diaper bag. I did pack um, my diaper bag for the hospital for Evander. Now a little disclaimer here. This is my fifth child and I'm still going overboard. Do you need all of these things? Absolutely 100% no. There's a lot of mamas out there who don't pack anything for their hospital stay for their newborn because the hospital will have blankets. They will have little um, shirts for them to put on. They will have diapers. They will have wipes. They will have all the supplies that you need for your baby. However, I'm extra. And also, I won't use all of these supplies in the hospital, but I like to go ahead and pack the diaper bag and see what it's going to look like and just go ahead and have it prepared, right? So, I will be definitely um, using the supplies from the hospital, but this is just a little bit extra, okay? That's just how it is. So, I'm packing my diaper bag like Evander is already here, okay? Now, with that being said, this diaper bag that I have chosen. So, I have ordered online for the past three kiddos backpack diaper bags. And that's what's really popular right now. That's what everybody that I ever see carries right now is backpack diaper bags. And I was the same way. I did it with Killian, did it with Alaric, did it with Jensen. However, I flipping freaking hate them. Okay. I even think I did it with Tristan. I had a diaper bag like this. Then I switched over to a diaper bag that was a backpack um, once he got just a little bit older. But why I have used them, I have no freaking clue. Um, so if you love them, you love them. A lot of people do. Most people do. It's all I ever see is backpack diaper bags. However, I hate it because they everything falls to the bottom. You can't freaking find anything. You have to dig. It's like this big hole. It's like a purse that just gets all the crap trapped in it. And I'm tired of doing it. <laughs> so I got this diaper bag that is very wide. It opens up. You can see absolutely everything in it. It has tons of pockets to be very organized. And I like it so much better. So... <sighs> that's what we're going to use. It was $25 from Walmart. Very, very inexpensive. You can actually buy really cute backpack diaper bags as well online for really cheap if you just look at different kinds of sites that are kind of different sites. You know what I mean? Um, I think I <laughs> ended up paying like $15 for Jensen's and Alaric's and both of theirs lasted. Like Jensen still has his, so... But anyways, that's neither here nor there. So, um, I'm going to show you what's in this diaper bag. Like I said, I'm not going to be using all of the things in here. Um, I do need to remove the zip ties on it because I haven't, I still haven't done that. I haven't brought scissors in here. I keep forgetting. Um, so I do need to remove those, but this diaper bag is really nice for 25 bucks. Like it really is. Um, it was like $24.95 at Walmart and I found it online at Walmart and I was hoping that it was in store and it was indeed. So, um, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to look in here. Um, so baby powder, it kind of speaks for itself. If I had a girl, I might not use it, but you know, um, this is a little sloth that his passy goes on. I just thought that was cute. Stick in there. And he's just kind of poking out, hanging out. Um, what should I put in this pocket? In this pocket, I have some butt paste, which I do want to get some desitin. I don't actually have desitin, so I need to grab some desitin. Um, AMD ointment is my favorite because I feel like AMD ointment plus baby powder can get rid of pretty much every rash. I know that different skin works differently with different creams. Some people don't like creams at all because they do have chemicals in them, but um, yeah. I, I prefer a and ointment, and that's just my preference because my kiddos do tend to get diaper rashes sometimes, but they I can get rid of them easily that way. So it's just your preference. So I have his little comb in here. Who knows if he'll have enough hair for a comb? Who even knows? He might be bald as an onion. I mean, there's no telling. It seems that with my kids getting each progressive child, um, as I have them get more and more hair, like Tristan was basically bald, Killian had hair and then lost it immediately, Alaric had a little more hair, and then Jensen had a bunch of hair and his hair was super dark, so it, uh, who knows. Um, some nipple cream, because hello, yes please, like 
please, please, and thank you, all the nipple creams. I'll probably get some more in a tube, so it'll be a little bit e more easy to apply, but there's that. I will definitely need that. And then in here, I believe are his passies. So here's his little passies. I have several for him to try. Um, none of my kids have been passy people except for um, Tristan. Tristan was the only passy child and he was not breastfed. So, you know, do we see a trend there? Probably, but I have a couple of different kinds for him to try, but I think that's the only one I put inside of the diaper bag. And then it has this tiny little pocket that is the same as this one. So that way you don't have to dig like I just did and make it really hard for yourself. You can just go in from the bottom and it makes it a lot easier. So that's super cute. And I don't know what brand this diaper bag is. I have like no clue. I just really liked it and it's neutral. It is a modern M-O-D-R-N. That's the brand of it and it's lovely. I really like it a lot. Um, I just put some baby lotion in here. I'm not loving Johnson & Johnson just because they are so chemically chemical-y and I feel like they don't really, really hydrate their skin, but I do need to get some um, other kind of uh, more, uh, what am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? Um, mild. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. I didn't put anything in the back pockets right now because as you can see, it's pretty full as it is. So I did pack him a warm blanket. It is winter here and it's going to be cold. And so he is going to need some blankets, especially when we come out of the hospital. So I did bring him this and I also brought him this one just because it's freaking cute and I love it. Um, my mother is obsessed with Alabama. So she does everything like freaking elephants and Alabama print and we don't care about football, so it makes it a little bit <laughs> a little bit weird for us to have all of this Alabama stuff. We just don't care about it. But, you know, whatever. That's what she likes, and she um, she buys it for them. So, you know, whatever. We definitely use it. We just don't really care about football, so it's not that big of a deal to us. So, trying to pull some of these extra tags off because it's annoying. So, I've already washed all of these things. Um, I washed them and put some smell goody stuff on them. So freaking, uh, the smell is great. Um, I do have some newborn diapers in here. I do have some wipes in here. However, I will probably take these out before we go to the hospital because I want to be able to put whatever extras we have from the hospital into the diaper bag and I want to be able to carry them home. So if you don't know this, you need to be carrying your extras, okay? You need to be pulling your extras from the hospital and taking every single thing that you possibly can. I mean, that's just my opinion. You're paying enough to be there. So you might as well take the supplies that they allow you to have. Um, all of my nurses always tell me that, like take all of the things. Um, I also got this swaddler. Oh my gosh, this stuff smells so good with this matching little hat. And it's so sweet. Um, I did grab these sleeper, um, I think I have a couple of different sleepers for him. Look how freaking cute. Oh my gosh. Um, I love sleepers and I like the zip kind. So if you're a new mama, the button kind is for the birds, in my opinion. I think I have a couple of button kinds just because they were so cute. I couldn't say no, but the button kinds are freaking annoying because if you're in the middle of the night and that baby is crying, you don't feel like freaking dealing with no buttons, especially when they get old enough to kind of wiggle around. No. I did get a receiving blanket because um, this, you never know, he might be a puker. And he won't be doing too much of that while he is a newborn, but you know, you, you never know. I got this little sleeper with the open bottom. And I don't love, love these. I know a lot of mamas do. They're not my absolute favorite just because I feel like, especially when they're this little, like look how long that is. And they kind of just get lost like they're, <laughs> but it is good to keep them warm. And it does have these little mitts. So you don't have to worry about all these different mittens. I love these because, um, like I said, you don't, and there's lint in here from where I washed this, but you don't have to worry about all the mittens, um, getting lost in your dryer kind of like socks and so you know it just makes it a lot easier so they don't scratch their face especially when they're new so there's that it just says little one and this my mom actually bought for Jensen when he was born 
at the hospital um, gift um, shop and he never wore it. So there's that, it's never been worn. These, this is a line from Walmart that is absolutely the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my entire life. They also have Bambi, they also have Pooh. I'm definitely buying all of the collections. Um, I just got this, this one in newborn size. I got it for um, my baby shower. I got it from a gift card that was given to me at my baby shower. So I haven't went back and purchased all the other ones, but I am totally doing it. So I'll probably get them in zero to three months because newborn doesn't last that long. But look at it. Look how freaking cute the prints are. So it's Dumbo's mama, which is my absolute favorite. And she's cuddling her baby. I, I can't. And I, this is just the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Like Dumbo has a special place in my heart. I don't know why, but it does. And I think it's just because of the way Dumbo's mama is with him. I freaking love it. i I cry every single freaking time she gets locked in the cage and it's so sad. And Dumbo's like, trying to touch his mama and he has to leave his mama like I can't deal with it and um yeah like if she doesn't die so he does see her afterwards in the end but look at these pants I can't oh my gosh so freaking cute and so yes I will say that you need to put these inside out when you wash them, which is kind of a problem because I washed one of the onesies. I don't think I brought it with me to the hospital, but I did wash one of the onesies and the print kind of stuck together and it messed it up a little bit. He'll still wear it. I'll still let him wear it, but yeah, you just need to put it inside out. I mean, how freaking cute is that? I can't, I can't deal with it. It's just too freaking cute. So, definitely brought him some outfits to wear. I like to put his own clothes on him. I don't like him to have hospital clothes. So, as soon as my baby is born, I change him <laughs> into his own clothes. I don't care if I have to wash them. I don't care if the nurse is like, oh, you can just use these clothes so you don't have to wash a bunch of clothes when you get home. I don't care. I want him to have his own clothes on. I want him to be his own little person. He is mine now. I will dress him how I want. And I don't want him to be in hospital clothes. I want him to be in his own cute little clothing so this is this little outfit with the little buttons is so cute so i'm getting really excited and getting very nervous i am 34 weeks now i carried jensen for 36 and a half so that's not very far from now carried alaric 37 and a half that's not very far from now so i'm getting very very nervous but anxious and excited all at the same time so here's this little outfit too isn't that freaking darling and look at how ribbed it's ribbed and adorable so there's that and um i think i got him one more little sleeper yeah this is one of those ones with the buttons you guys so I don't usually do the buttons but this one is just too cute and it's quilted so I'm a sucker for that and it does have the matching little hat I mean come on like you can't help it it's just too cute so those are all of his clothes that I packed for him um hopefully it's enough it just really depends right like I just want him to have his own clothes that's all like that's all I just hope we don't have to stay there that long. Let's just not stay there very long. Killian had to stay um, two nights, and um, I've stayed one night with all my other babies, but Killian had to stay an extra night. At least I think so. I might have stayed two nights with another kid for a different reason, just because of the timing that I had them. Um, so it really just depends on that. It depends on the timing that I have them what time of the night or day that they are born and then it just depends on you know what's going on with them it depends on what's going on with them so Killian had some amniotic fluid in his lungs so it, he, we had to stay a little bit longer and I forgot about this pocket what did I put in here oh in here I put all of his hats and gloves and socks just so he will have and bibs, just in case he needs all of those. I put all of that stuff in this pocket here and they all coordinate and match with his outfits. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I can't. So cute. And like I said, it is gonna be 
cold, so I want him to be toasty warm. Now I also have a, some thicker blankets that can't fit in his diaper bag, and that is perfectly fine. I will put those in my bag, and that is what it's going to look like. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I just appreciate it. I know it's a little bit extra, but if you're looking for hospital ideas, then there you go. There's some inspiration. Now, like I said, the hospital will have supplies. They'll also have some tools like a nose sucker and all of these different kinds of things as well. And so I'll be bringing those with me because a hospital nose sucker, there's nothing like it. Like I've never tried a nose Frida with all the kids. I've never tried one, but a hospital nose sucker, you just can't beat it. So I am just excited and this is like my nesting. Let's pack your hospital bag and put all the outfits that I want you to be in your first days of life. That's what this is. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.